Today we're going to take a look at my top 10 survival hacks. There's been a lot of different uses videos taking ordinary household items and for multiple purposes and to improvise. Improvise to survive. You never know what you have around the house that could be of use. Now one of my favorite fire starters is Vaseline and cotton balls and I mention it a lot in different videos. Uh, one of the things I like is it's really very effective. Uh, these do really work well plus this is just super cheap to do. Uh, you need to make sure that the cotton balls are 100% cotton and the petroleum jelly is 100% petroleum jelly. And then take you a little bag, pull the bag inside out. So it needs to be large enough to get your hand in there. And then put your hand back in and just get a nice glob of petroleum jelly. Then we're gonna pull this back through. Uh, this is mainly just to keep your hands from getting just completely covered. Now I'm gonna spread around the petroleum jelly before I get started. It uh, just makes it mixing it a little bit easier. Then we're going to take our cotton balls, drop them down into the bag, and then just start to work them in. You want to get them covered as much as possible. The petroleum jelly continues to move around in here even uh, after you get some of them really soaked. Now we have these mixed pretty good, and you also have a container here to keep these sealed up. And this pack's really easy in about any kind of pack. There are other ways to do it. Uh, you can take the petroleum jelly, put it in a saucepan, and heat it up, and then add your cotton balls and pull them out. To me, this is just so easy just to take the bag and mix it up. Now we're going to take our Vaseline and cotton balls, and you want to open it up. It gives it a little room to breathe. Gets that Vaseline even more on it. Then just put it wherever you need to, and then we're going to light it. It catches right away. And it won't take long to get this fire going. That's just one cotton ball, guys. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. Now, a common problem is a zipper breaking, uh, or the uh, little piece lapel, or like this paracord on this pack comes loose. You can take a regular paper clip, slide it in, and this makes a great way to keep this zipper going back and forth, uh, even on your pants. Uh, you can slip one of these a little bit smaller, whatever you have available. And then when you get home, you can fix it, or it can be a permanent style. <laughs> now, a good empty can is something that's easy to find, and of course, once you use the contents, you have it. We're going to make a small little cooking stove. And what you want to do is to cut into the stove, and you can do this with a pair of shears or obviously a knife. And we're going to cut four sides, or four pieces equally in each of the quarters, halfway down the can. Probably just a little bit easier to, to set it down so it doesn't bend so much. Then once you have the four sides cut out, divide that again. It doesn't have to be exact. Now you can cut it with your knife, but it'll save the blade if you go ahead and get that top edge, because that top edge is a lot thicker. We're just going to clip it. Now take every other one and just fold it in. And when you finish, it should look something like this. You have four legs that are coming up and you have four legs that are down into the can. Get you a small fire going in your can and you can cook on it or brew you up some coffee. It allows you to get enough to build a little fire and yet you have that air vent that goes through. And the can's strong enough, which is important. Be careful when working with a can, you can do that. <laughs> Which leads us to our next point, having a feminine hygiene pad. These are made to soak up blood. Uh, and even though this is not for really tough trauma, it definitely can get you through for a little while. 
Now I'm ready to go to the emergency room. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> well, I've been gone for a few minutes and it's still burning like crazy in there. That Vaseline cotton ball is the deal, man. Yes, paracord comes in these great rolls, but what typically happens with me is this. It just gets to be a big mess because I'm using it for different projects. Take an empty water bottle, remove the lid. We're going to take a screwdriver and just punch a hole right through the top. Then you may want to take a larger one and push the plastic back out. Now we have a hole. Take your paracord through the lid, give you a little bit of length, and then fish the rest of it into your bottle. Now once you get most of it stuffed in, you can replace your lid. Uh, one good thing to do is to keep this from just coming undone. Just tie off the end with a little simple knot. This keeps your paracord together, and all you need to do is just pull it right out. Take a pencil sharpener, take a standard stick that's about the size of a pencil, and just start turning. You can come up with a lot of fire tinder using this method. And a byproduct of that is you have a really sharp point to use this for different things, whether it's detailed work, cleaning out something, or even a, sm a small trap, or an arrow. And it doesn't take long to come up with quite a bit of tinder. And we can start a fire. This tinder will burn. There we go. Of course, now you want to add your heavier sticks and things like that. It won't take long to have a nice little fire. If you ever get a really hard piece of wood, your blade's kind of dull, uh, and you want to do some batoning, take WD-40, spray it on the blade, and it helps it to cut even that much faster. One thing I'm a big fan of is using heavy meal trash bags for a lot of different reasons, um, but one of my favorites is using this as a poncho. Uh, when you don't have something, let's say you have a flat tire, you don't have your rain jacket, or you're out in the woods, again, you don't have your rain jacket, or you want to get on the ground, and this is a great water barrier. You can take a knife or a pair of scissors, cut out a hole for your head, cut out a hole for your arms, but it's not necessary because you can work from underneath it. The industrial heavy meal trash bags are the best. They're a little more expensive and not too bad. Here I've got freedom of arm movement. I can put it in. The bag, I can even bring this over over my head. So this is just a great item. In fact, the leading expert in the survival field said that if he only had one item to carry into the wilderness, it would be a heavy meal trash bag. Chapstick's one of those items we have around a lot and a Q-tip. And we're gonna make a match from this or a fire starter. Just open it up, take a Q-tip and cut it into about a third. Now we're gonna take the Q-tip tip and we're gonna get some of this lip balm on it. Then we're gonna shove this in to the lip balm. This would make a great long burning match, but of course we have a lighter just to demonstrate it. Here we've got it burning, and as it burns, you just increase your lip balm. Uh, and this will just keep going. Uh, it'll give you extra time to get that fire started. And it can also soothe your lips, but not with the fire. <laughs> or it could be an improvised birthday candle. Now during a power outage, you just can't find your candles. And I'm going to show you how to take a stick of butter or just a piece of butter and we're going to make an improvised candle. You need a small piece of tissue paper and a paper clip works. You don't have to have this, but it helps. First thing you want to do is cut a piece. Um, doesn't really matter. You want something that you can wrap into a wick. And then what I did was fold and then start just to fold over, fold over, and then start to twist. Get it good and tight. Now we're going to take and just cut off a piece. And we're going to fold it again, just like a little umbrella. Now take your butter and take something. I'm just going to take a Q-tip, because it just happened to be what I had, and make a small enough, little just a hole to be able to stick the tissue paper down in. And then go ahead and set your tissue paper in, making sure that you get butter on the tissue. This is going to be your wick. Now you have a small little candle. 
Uh, this will burn one hour per tablespoon, and this is two tablespoons. So this will go for two hours. So if you really need something, of course, putting it in a small little dish will help protect it. Now the paper clip actually gives the wick a little bit of support. So you just bring it out. Uh, you can leave part of it like it is, and then just wrap it in the tissue, especially the top end, just like we did before. And we're good to go. This will burn just a little bit better. Then when the power comes on, we'll fix us some toast. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need that specific item that's going to help you to survive or just to get through the day. And so improvise to survive is really important. Being able to take ordinary items and we'll have multiple uses. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. take the q-tip tip we're going to get um, this lip, lip okay. and we're going to just shove it down into the q-tip or to the fire starter um, <laughs> and using them for different purposes uh, but we're going to take a look at some of my, my favorites and uh, this is not one <laughs> you never know what you have laying around the house you never know what you have around the house that could be of use that's not one of them, but it sure is fun. 